the war for your mind and your mind. It's the MCBPC Radio Hour. Whoa, welcome to the MCBPZ Radio Hour. This is uh, Mrs. Uh, MC Hin here in the studio, and my friend is with me, the producer, the one. Hey yo, hey yo, what's good? Hey, hey yo, we're trying to we're trying to join a we're trying to get a nice uh, urban audience today, so we're gonna be throwing in some new some new catchphrases, some new we're gonna do some new action. Uh, wicka wicka what? Wicka wicka what? Wicka 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 what? By the way, guys, we are rebranding ourselves. We're trying to garner more of an urban I youth just said audience. I just said that. I'm sorry. Pay I, attention. I am on pay drugs. You. Pay it. Oh man, someone is caught. Jesus Christ! Once, what is happening right now? The uh, world is crazy. The world is absolutely. The world is insane. Uh, the world is in. We are in chaos. Insane. The world is in. Sane and absolutely what what is happening what a, what a, uh what is going on what is what is we happening have, we have some important things to talk about oh what, my what we god. think is happening oh my god well my oh my god what okay that and that that was our segment oh my god what we just have to let that out that was a little ritual we do Okay, we're going to be talking about... This is the real men's rights episode. We're going to yeah, attack Sorry it. about last, ep- last week. We're going to let you know what is going on, okay? Yeah, men's rights. Uh, we, we have... I, you know what's messed up? We have a Black History Month, but we don't have a Men's Rights History Month. <laughs> what's going on with that? What's, what's going on there? Uh, but before we go into that, we have a very important segment... It's time for an end of the world status update. All right, I, I gotta admit to you guys, um, I get it wrong sometimes. I do, I do, I do get it wrong sometimes. We I'm, all do. I'm right about it most of the time, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. Very often, I am right. But today, I was today. Well, last week, technically, I was wrong. I'm not gonna be wrong today. I'm not gonna be wrong when I tell you the world is ending on March 27th, two days from now. Two days from now. Two days. Two days from now. 48 I hours. I saw some predicted programming the other day. I was watching the show called um, Jordan Peterson Destroys uh, Destroys Feminist. And oh my God, let me tell you this. The world is ending in two days. Feminist uprising, imminent. Rapture, <laughs> imminent. We are going to die. We are going to die to die. Uh, that's pretty good. That was a pun. Wah, 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 wah. There it is. And uh, so, uh, end of the world status update over. We're gonna, we're gonna. C- congratulations! And as t- for our for our urban audience, Th- this is a certified hood classic. Wiggity wiggity what? Wiggity wiggity what? Wiggity That's dude. That is so uh, fresh. We are, s- dude, bro. <laughs> dog, dog, dog. You're hitting my, you're hitting my spot, dog. You know with the G, dog. Word. Word. Wizzy, wizzy, word. Ha. Yo, it was good. Ha ha. I'm, I, you didn't see that in the studio. I just whipped and nay nayed. I did both of those things in the, in the studio. It was a really good whip and a really, really good nay nay. Check this out. That was a dab. 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 We just did three dab. Our producer just did a dab. We're dabbing in the audience, dude. I mean, in the, in the studio. Wow, it is going crazy. Hope you guys are dabbing at home, cause we're da- we're dabbing over here. And you know what my favorite? You know what my favorite kind of music is? What's that? Jazz. Oh, I love jazz. Oh, I love jazzy jazz. music. I love um, Sankara, the poet. Um, I love uh, I love uh, uh I love uh, th- those Chinese shops that sell um cigarettes one at a time. That's I love that. Stuff. I love um, I love. Jazz is great, but there's actually a new evolution of jazz in today's world. Have you, have you heard of this? It's it's, it's sweeping the, the what whole is it? world. It's called chill lo-fi hip-hop beats to study to. Oh, yeah. It's, I think the, it it's the new jazz, it's and it's amazing. It, yeah, it is. But, I mean, I'm, I'm talking like urban. I thought you were talking like hip-hop. Oh, it is. Well, it's hip-hop, and it's jazz, and it's chill and lo-fi, and you can study to it. Whoa. That's pretty neat. That is a... That's I think that is neat. the future of entertainment. Who's your favorite... Um. Lo-fi beats, just hip-hop 
I beats think, to study I think it actually is artist. just it's just one artist. One His artist? name is Chill Lo Fi Hip Hop Beats to Study To. Wow. He's an innovator. Wow. Well, you know, that was some nice chit chat. Um, we, we liked it. this is WQHS, you were tuning in. And that was some nice, you know, fun hip hop hip chit chat. But we're going to you know, we're I'm not about small talk. You know, don't tell me, you know, what's going on. Uh, don't just tell me, you know, what's going on. Tell me, you know, I don't want to hear about the weather. I don't want to talk about that baby stuff. I want to talk about real things. You know, let's debate, you know, let's not talk about whether the earth is flat or not. Let's talk about whether or not this is a simulation. And that, that way we can benefit both sides of the argument. You know? So... So what are the theories about the uh, the simulation that we live in? So the other day I was driving on the street, right? I was driving. It was a very long, mm -hmm. long road. And it was a very hot day. And there was a little pieces of the road were just disappearing. Uh, they were disappearing, like, in front of my eyes. And, and then they'd reappear as I got closer to them. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's oh, okay. Also, have you guys seen Owen Wilson lately? Oh, no. What's up with Owen Wilson? What's up with O? He's, uh, you know, he's, he's hanging go. out. He's hanging out. He's That's really, good. Really chill. I love that movie with the uh, the dog that dies at the end. Which is a sad movie because the dog. Is, but Owen wait, is. Is it Marley and me? Because I haven't seen that yet. Does the yeah, dog I die know. at the end? Marley. That's it. Marley and me. Yeah. That, wait. Why did you tell me that? Well, I thought you knew. I didn't know that. I'm sorry. I just kind of guessed a random dog. Marley dies. I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I watched like sorry, the, dude. I watched like the first like hour of it. I didn't. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. Why would they make a movie like that? I. Uh, why would they? I why would know. they do that? Some things are some things are hard, but it's. You well, know, I don't you know. I don't know. Like, can we? Why would they? I don't. I don't get it. I don't get why. I don't. I don't get why. That's that's fucked up. That's that's no, really I'm messed. So, up. I'm sorry. I had. I was a little right, um, to tell you that. I'm all right. Sorry. Uh, and uh, next up, the Night Corps National U.S. National Anthem. That's God. God, what a what a beautiful song. The, the what best. a beautiful. I'm glad we play that every segment. That's session. That's that's a good thing that we do it. All right. So my producer, he tells me, he says, I want to be on the show today. I got a lot of good ideas for you. He says, uh, you know, let's bring in some let's bring in some talent. He says, I have a lot of good ideas. And so we are going to um, what, what, what's the idea? What's the idea for the show today? Uh, well, I want to talk about men's rights. Because I rights. think it is really important that we start to talk about this. I, for one, do not feel safe in America anymore. I mean, okay, so first they, uh, you know, have you, it's not like that. Uh, have you heard it? It's first they came for the the gays, and I was mm -hmm. not a gay, so I stood by. Yes. Then they came for the, 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 the what, what was it next? The, uh, then they came from the they came for the Christians. Yeah, mm -hmm. for the, the Christians. The Christian. Yeah, and then they came for the white men. Mm -hmm. And then yep, it was happening nothing. right now. There was no one left to stand for me. No one left. That's why except we, us. That's why we need to protect the Christians, protect the other men, and that's it. That's all we need to. Like honestly, because other other groups have a lot of protecting gays. They have a pride parade. Yeah. Why don't we get a straight straight parade? I don't know. Why don't we get a straight it's pride like parade? It, it's like it's wrong to be straight in this country. I just don't understand. You know, that's the problem with, like, honestly, the problem with America is, like, yeah. I that's, don't, that's I, fucked up. I just, I feel so powerless. I, I woke up yesterday morning just crying, and I could, I didn't know why. My, my emotions are just out of control, you know what I mean? Wait. Cause, cause they, yeah, cause I, I mean, I, I live with John actually. I live with the producer actually. 
Was yeah, that? You, you was know. that? I th- I thought that was because of um Sydney. Well, you know, things happen to me, and I don't know how to deal with it, and it's because I have no rights as a man. No, but I mean, like, I'm pretty sure you're crying because Sydney broke up with. Well, uh, no matter why I was crying, it's re- sure maybe, but the real reason I was crying is because men don't have rights. Yeah, that's no, that, really that's you pretty to, messed you up. You gotta dig deeper than that. You know what I mean? But it didn't, it didn't have anything to do with like your girlfriend. No, it did, I, no, Mike. Yeah, no, that was very sad. Was that was that why you were crying? That's not okay. Well, if I had rights as a man, I don't think that would have happened. You know what I mean? I don't think she would have. You know what? That's actually true. Yeah, because I I remember I remember that relationship. I was always like, you know, why are you dating this woman? You know, um, you know, because you were treating her, because she. The problem was, you, you, yeah, no, exactly. You were, you were giving her everything she wanted, mm-hmm. and you let her speak. Yeah, I know. You, you did. You really I did. You, did, really did let her, you really did let her say stuff. And you know, the problem was, sometimes she would like, she'd get a little bitchy, and she'd be like, "Hey, you know, she tell you what to do, and that's fucked up." I, t- I tell you what, man, it's it's men's rights. We got to get them back. We got to get them back. They were stolen. There is a there is a men's a genocide of men going men. Men going their own way. That's what this is. Sh- this, that's what this show is about. Mm. Men going their own way. Man. I like the sound of that. I like the ring of it. I like it. Me too. I feel a strange sense of identity. Yeah, you know, because I think the problem is being a white male in America. We don't have identity. Yeah, I know. We we used to have such a strong identity, and now it's gone. Yeah, like like I like I, I when I wake up, I don't. You know, I'm like I wish. You know, I wonder what it's like to be a woman. I never think I wonder what it's like to be a man, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, you know, that's what, you know, that's, I think that's the reason why there are so many trans people these days. Mm. Because that, that, because men, you know, they, they lose their sense of identity and they're like, you know, I should be a woman. And that's, that's why they choose to be a woman because they realize that there's nothing to be a man. There's no identity for being a man. Being a man, you don't get to wear, uh, there's no, we don't have dick hats. We don't have men's marches. We have a woman's marches. We have pussy hats. But where's the... Well, yeah. Uh, you only see penis hats at, like, bachelorette parties, which are extremely offensive and need to end. And also, yeah, what if I was wearing a pussy hat? What if we only wore pussy hats at stag nights? Mm. What, yeah. if, what if I did that? Would women be happy with that? Probably not. Probably not. The, probably the feminazis. Mm. I don't want to have to say it, but the feminazis. I don't want to have to say that word, but I'm going to say it again. Feminazi. I don't like saying that word. doesn't make me happy to say it, feminazi. Yeah. It, but it's the truth. These women are Nazis. They, 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 I'm just trying to have a conversation, you know? I just want to say my side of the story, and they always shut me down. Uh, they're, they're mean, they're cruel, and they're usually ugly, too. I don't want to have to bring that up, but they're usually fat and ugly, too. And I don't respect their opinions because they're fat and ugly. <laughs> I, don't get what I don't get their points, either. Yeah, they're 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 crazy heads, man. They're insane in the brain, yo. Yo, dog, you is Rizzle, dog. That's you're you're right. I I, I kind of I kind of improv that one a little bit and then like a jazz, yeah, jazzy way. Yeah, good. That's good. Have you read uh, John Kier- Jack Kerouac on the road? No, what me, is that? Me neither. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I I have a feeling it's very jazzy. Probably, yeah. So I think. I think something that's happening right now is that men don't have male role models anymore because, you know, be- all the great male role models like George Washington and Ben Franklin and D- Thomas Reagan. Jefferson and Ben Franklin, they're, the people are saying, no, these were white male slave owners. They were bad. we got to take them down. Well, but they're so they're important to me, man. That's, re- that's really that's really deep. It's my identity. I love these men. They're my heroes. You can't don't, don't do that to my heroes. They they should be your heroes too. I remember when I was um I remember uh, just a couple days ago I was I was lost and looking for identity. And I watched this video. It's it's a really smart it's a, it's a really smart video. This guy his name is Jordan Peterson. Have you heard of him? Yes. He he hey, made this video uh, called Jordan, yeah. He made this video called Clean Your Room. And it was like I know this video. Oh, I know oh this video God. all too well. Oh my god, it was amazing. I was like, you know, finally I'm starting to have an identity as a white male. That you know, cleans his room. <laughs> that cleans his you know, that's part of my identity. My room is clean. My room is clean. My my brain is clean. My chakras are aligned with the clean cleanliness. Um I got rid of that uh, that that 
that corner that I pooped in that one time. I, I cleaned that out. Mm-hmm. Um, it was pretty neat though because it was like it was solidifying, and I was kind of I was kind of excited to watch it. But you know, I cleaned that out, and I was like, you know what, this is nice. And I got rid of the bottles, the pee bottles, and it was it was really nice. You felt like a man. Yeah, I mean, I definitely felt like less of a woman. Mm, that's the key. I wait. I feel. I'm starting to feel more like a woman than less like a man, and I don't know what is happening to me. Men's rights. Men's rights. That's, that's why we need men's rights. We need. And honestly, yeah, because like sometimes I feel kind of womanly, and that's why I feel like we need men's rights because I don't want to feel like a woman. Yep, it's bad. And it I don't. Bad. I don't like the fact that I can only get off now, anally, from wearing yeah. while while wearing panties. That's the worst, bro. I don't like the fact that I can only get off when I'm in a pink sissy dress. Um, my 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 cock is is caged. I don't like that, and I don't, I don't like having to put on makeup and shaving my entire body mm. and waxing my private parts. Yeah, just you're, so you're I can speaking to a lot of have, men. You're speaking to a lot yeah, of men exactly. these days. I think this is a common, this is a common theme. Yeah, you know, there's a real big feminization movement going on, and I, I don't like that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to de, uh, de sissify myself. It's good. You know, I really don't like. You know, I miss having body hair, but when it comes to it, I can't get off when I have body hair. I can't, cause I think you know, if I had body hair, I, f- I want to be womanly, and then my penis doesn't get hard. And now my penis just doesn't ever get hard, really. Yeah. Because of all the estrogen I'm taking. Yeah. All the soy I eat. And that's why I'm trying to cut soy out of my diet. I don't drink soy milk. Yeah, soy is very bad for you. Soy is poison. I don't drink soy. I I don't drink soy milk. I don't eat uh, tofu. I don't eat um, soy beans. Mm -hmm. I don't eat edamame. I don't eat... um, That's that's it. That's that's pretty much all the soy products I can think of right now. But I I avoid them. Yeah, that's very good. You should be eating meat. Bone. It's good for you. Here's what people don't understand about men in this day. I am a warrior. Okay? Yes. I am a strong yes. warrior prince. Uh-huh. I am a Spartan warrior. Uh-huh. I want to kill. Yes. I am a I want to exert my power. Yes. Why why will you not let me do these things? I want to break things. Don't, don't, break to, I'm don't, break don't break that. I'm trying to break this pen. Don't, don't break that, please. That's the that's the studio pen. <coughs> yeah, okay, I broke that. He, he, I just used my power to break a thing. Break I. That's what being a man is all about. Break it. It's in pieces. It's not. In pieces. It's all over the floor. It's it's one pen that didn't change the form of it was before. But yeah, that's what that's what being a man is. That's what being a man is about. Being a man. Yeah. You know what? I think. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, I mean that's why I eat meat every day because I need that I need that dominance. Mm-hmm. You know, I need to know that what I'm eating one time was like alive and had fear. Yeah. That's the that's the big thing for me, the fear. I love I love seeing the fear in the animal's eyes when it's dead. Me I agree with that. Um yeah, absolutely. I I mean, I've never actually killed an animal on my own, but I feel like I need to do that as a man. So that's why I'm go- that's why uh, John and I are actually going hunting and um what, the, the second the, the second the semester ends, we're going. Oh hunting. yeah, we're going big game hunting. Yeah, we're, going, we're going to uh, we're sneaking, We're actually gonna sneak into the zoo and kill a couple of giraffes. Yeah, and guess what? I don't care about these endangered animals. Cause frankly, I am an endangered animal. Yeah, honestly, I am a man. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, I am so upset with that. This the idea that oh, some species are so important. It's called survival. Survival of the fittest. Of the fittest. Yes, exactly. Yes. Because you know, you see, oh wow, what's so important that we save the species of Fuck bug? That. Fuck that. Oh yeah, why? What's so important about a fucking bug? I want. I think what's the world would be better if it was only humans. I think yeah. We honestly, what what are the animals? These uh, other animals are they're lazy. Like mosquitoes. They don't do anything. Why don't we? Why don't Fuck we make that. mosquitoes? Fuck extinct? mosquitoes. Why? Why don't we do that? You know, all these scientists at NASA, they're like, hey, let's, let's, like, we need to conserve the animals. We need a, a global warming. Blah, blah, blah. That's Bullshit. exactly what they sound like. Bullshit. Uh, oh, yeah. You know, there used to be dinosaurs on the planet and then they went extinct. Do you remember that? Oh, but no one's like, conserve the dinosaurs. Imagine if they tried to Hypocrites. conserve the dinosaurs. Hypocrites. We'd be living with real life killer monsters. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's like people don't even think anymore. Honestly, yeah. I feel like, you know, the entire world around us is just sleeping uh, liberal zombies. And here we are, you know, and it's, it's, everyone's like, why are you, you know, oh, they're left or they're right, oh, uh, blah, blah, blah. But we're here in the center. And, you know, we're the only ones that the can center. see clearly. Yes. Because both sides are bad. 
and maybe good. Both sides are very bad, but also very good. Yeah, you know, because there's, there's, like, yeah, I don't support, you know, I don't support violence. And mm-hmm. I don't like, and any violence. I don't support burning of anything, protests. I don't support that. Fuck that's, that. That's, that's violent behavior. No, if you want to protest, do it the right way. For file an, create an online petition and don't post it on my timeline if I don't want to see it. That's what Martin Luther King would have done if he lived in this day and yeah, age. Honestly, he was a peaceful protester. People need to be more like Martin Luther King. People do need to be more like Martin. He was a good black man. He was. You know, you don't see a lot of those anymore. I mean, not. No, that's that's wickedy wickedy whack, bro. No, okay? You not, can't be saying that. I ish. did not. I did not mean black people. I I love black people. I think black people are we're gonna, frickety frickety we're gonna, fresh. Sorry about that, guys. We're gonna try our best to keep it fresh because we really need this urban youth audience. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, yeah, because statistically speaking, urban youth are the only one listening to this show. Because um, you know, there's the kind of people who can afford uh, our computers and stuff, and there's the people who can only afford a radio, and that's mm-hmm. we uh, cater to one of those audiences. Yeah. It's wickety wickety whack, dog. It's, it is wickety wickety. The socioeconomic bro. problems in this uh, neighborhood are this hood, dare I say, are mm, wickety 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 whizzy whizzy way. You know what I'm saying? It's yeehaw. Oh, I know exactly what you're saying, home dog. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for keeping it 100. <laughs> bro, you are slicing on me right now. <laughs> you are absolutely spraying on the track right. <laughs> Uh, all mm. right. Yeah, we, t- we keep it fresh in the audience. Oh, oh, and uh, speaking of frickety, 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 fresh, frickety, 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 speak, Michael, my, speaking of frickety, frickety, fresh, guess what time it is? Guess, guess what time? This is a, this is an exercise. Guess what time it is? This is an important public service announcement. Service announcement. It's time for a peer public service announcement, dog. And here we go. We're gonna read it. We're gonna read one. First, we're gonna read the. Uh, uh, first, we're gonna read it. The we're, first, we're gonna read the PSA from our uh, from our fr- uh, from our, uh, from, our, from our from our from our from our. First we're, gonna read, first, we're gonna read a PSA from our white friends, and then we're gonna read a PSA from our urban friends. Are you ready, John? Let's go. All right, here it is. I'm gonna read the white PSA, and then John will read the urban one. Okay. Our friends at Artemis Discovery would like to remind the students in our community to stay in school, get your education, and graduate. To the technology in every job field gets more sophisticated each year, and getting a good job means learning every day. If you're a student who's considered not returning or finishing school, Please think again. An education along with a degree is one of the greatest gifts you can give yourself, especially in today's technology-intensive world. Artemis Discovery reminds you, education is the gateway to a better life, and only you hold the key! Exclamation point. This special reminder was courtesy of Artemis Discovery here in Philadelphia. Wishing all students a successful future, they're on the air because they care. And now John will read the urban version of the entitled, all Don't right. Be a Fool, <clears throat> Stay in School. All right, here we go. Yo, what up, 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 Yo, here's the hizzy home dog. We at Artemis Discovery would like to remind the uh, homies in the the community to stay in school and get an education and graduate. Because it's very important that you, this country is very good and you, you guys are lucky to be here. What up, what up, what up? Word. 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 Squad. Civic Squad. duties and, and that. Gang. Yeah, all right. That's it. Civic duty. Gang. Gang. Squad. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang. Squad. Skrr. Skrr. Gang. Woo. 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 Squad. Skrr. 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 White genocide. Skrr. Wow. Squad. Squad. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Gang, gang. Squad. <laughs> Squad, squad, squad. Skr, 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 skr. 
Uh, we just got a, we just got a message. We got a message from uh, from some people in the audience. Hey man, I'd appreciate it if you didn't walk in and end our archive before our show ended next week. I end a show that our show usually ends around twelve oh five, but I respect your space and you should respect mine. That's Yonatan very important. Gottlieb. He's right. We got a message for you, Jonathan Gottlieb. We respect you. We respect, we respect you, respect and, you. and your space. And the fact, yeah, we respect how you uh, spend five minutes extra in the studio every, <laughs> every week. You know, that's what that, I mean, that's what this is let's, about. So let's just learn to respect each other's space. Let's just, re- yeah, you We're know We're sorry. We're sorry. We are, po- we apologize. We do. This is a heartfelt apology. But you, the thing is, though, we're sick. We're sick. We're we sick are. people. You, it, it, we it's are. not we our fault. It's not our, it's not our fault. I mean, both of us have problems talking to women. We do. And men. And men. And Other. what? anything in between. And anything in between, yes. And honestly, it makes us, it, it hurts. It hurts very bad. It does. It hurts it a lot. It cuts like a knife. And Yoni, I'm going to be honest. I'm on the board. I'm going to bring this up at the board meeting. I'm going to see what they think about it. You know, we're going we're gonna to make a very good, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to repent a lot. I'm, have you heard of flagellation? I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit myself. I'm going to beat myself until I see the light. I'm going to cry tonight because I feel really bad. I do. I don't, feel, I, don't, I don't like getting messages like that. I don't get, like getting messages like that. It doesn't, it doesn't mm. feel great. Mm. It makes me feel sad, actually, if anything. I'm, I'm really sad right now. That, w- that really put a damper. That <sighs> We're going to open up for calls from the audience. Calls from the audience. Call in. Yo, if you want to talk some smack, 215 898 Talk some smack. Talk some smack. Talk. Talk with talk with us. Talk some smack. Talk some talk 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 some smack. Oh shoot! We just got a ooh. We got a call. What? We got a what? Wiggity, 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 what? This is the MCVPZ Radio Hour. You are on. Oh, fuck. This is the MCVPZ Radio Hour. You are on the air. Hello? I can't. Can you hear it? I can't. That line's dead, boy. That line is dead. Dead, 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 dead. Someone broke the phone. Yep, that's actually broken. That's. Oh, for real? Someone actually, yeah, someone broke the phone, I guess. <laughs> wow, frick. Who broke, the, who broke the phone? Yeah, who broke the phone? What the heck? Someone broke the phone. What the, like, like, it's not turning. Wow, someone really just broke the phone. Hello? 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 Jeez, someone really did. Hello? Oh, there we are. All right. All right, all right, all right. Call it, call it. Call in again. Uh, whoever just called in. Please we, call it again. We have fixed. We have fixed the, the phone. phone. <laughs> it's called. It's called being a man. I'm a handyman. I know how to fix things. Man power. <laughs> man power. We got the man power here at the studio. Please. Oh, we got a caller again. Wiggity wiggity what? Wiggity, wiggity, what? What's up, dog? You're live on the air. MCPZ Radio Hour. WQHS Radio. Blip blip blip. No time. Jeez, guys. Hey, yo. What's With good? The phone not working. Hey, this is Mr. Gaming, part-time gamer, long-time fan. Oh, uh, yo, hello, Mr. Gaming. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we've worked together before. Oh, we uh, have? You and I. I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. I have a very well, bad uh, memory. I just wanted to call in today. I heard you guys are talking it's about all the weed. men. Dude, we do. <laughs> yeah. What's, what's your question? What's, what's, your, what's, your, what's your question? Okay, well, I heard you guys talking about uh, men's rights, and I just wanted to know specifically what your opinion is on how men's rights contribute. Because... Uh, you know, as a gamer, playing... On, I'm sorry, I just hear my voice. I can't hear my own voice when I'm talking. Oh, no, that's all right. That's completely okay. No, I can't do that, because if I hear my own voice, I'm reminded... Okay. Uh, as a gamer, when I'm, you know, I'm playing online on these servers, I feel like I'm treated as a second-class citizen. Ah, uh, yes. You know what? Yeah, that's... Well, can you actually elaborate on that a little bit more? Um, so, I, you know, I, I, I regular on this Minecraft server... And the other day, I was playing. I was chopping wood, and a Minecrafter. Wait, I'm sorry. Can you right. explain to me what Minecraft is? I don't really understand. Oh, it's like Roblox, but for more autistic people. Oh, very nice. Ooh. That's that sounds like my kind of game. Is there, uh, is there like a Robux yeah, system? Is, is, is there, there an economy? Is there an economy Robux system kind of thing going on in the game? In the server that I have on, it's called Furbucks ah. because it's 
a furry server, but oh, it's not. Oh, yeah, okay. I see, I see. Okay. Yeah. So we have to also like have a furry lens talking about this, you know? That's good. Sure, it's... but that's less important because in the animal kingdom, there's a more of a dominant system. So uh, man, there's not really a lot of, you know, uh, prejudice there yeah, because yeah. of oh, that's, inherent that's... animal properties. Yeah. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, no, that's true. True. Yeah. yeah. Good point. True that. True. Wickety, wickety, wickety. True. I don't know what that means. I'm oh, sorry. We're a little urban in the studio today. We're okay, trying to we're well, trying to garner in the audience. So so as as a gamer, do you have any advice? Can you give me? I mean, I do have it. I because here's the thing, I am also a gamer, okay, and a lot of people don't realize this, but the the battlefield of America is taking place in the gaming community right now. This is the fight that really matters. It is the feminist SJWs versus the alpha gamer bros. It is it is that. That is the war that is happening in America that people don't want to look at. Yeah. They're taking away so our right are... to game. I agree with that. Anita Sarkeesian? More like Anita, I'm going to kill you. Watch out. I know your address. More like, more like I need a break. <laughs> that one works a little better than that mine. It w no, yours was good. Um, I... I don't know, guys. I'm staring at my collection of Wii U uh, original Nintendo properties right now. And Ooh. I'll tell you one thing. I don't know if you played the new Pikmin, but they put a woman in that. Yo, fuck. What? <laughs> what? Yep. Pikmin is a very masculine man's what? game. The fact that... How the fuck could they do that? What the I don't know how she's... She walks around with a little whistle, probably, you know... That's so... You know what that's for. Oh, my she God. She just little... Jesus. Pikmin as if they would listen to her. What I don't know what in what world... What the fuck? How did that even happen? Like, what, what the fuck? What planet are we on? What right planet now? are we? What the fuck? That's, dude, it, I'm not okay with that. Are, are we on the I mean, Pikmin I'm, planet right now? Is that what we're on? I'm organizing tomorrow a, a, a march for against Nintendo. <gasps> That's Nintendo smart. That's America, very good. The NOA. I'm marching against the NOA tomorrow. Not because not only are they very a feminist organization, they are also Japanese, and I'm not sure if I really trust. Well, I mean, the, I, you know I actually I, mean? I watch a lot of Japanese um, footage, uh, movies, and uh, let me tell you this: I enjoy them. I think they're very good. I think the storytelling abilities of the Japanese mm. are so sophisticated. I, uh, this other day, I was watching um, a very good video. Um, there's this a thousand year old uh, warrior. Um, she's trapped in a six year old's body, though. And she's she's a sexual being because she's a thousand years old, so she wants you know. But she she looks six. But you know, if you have to you have to you have to transform that Mentally, mindset. Mentally, she's she's eleven. You said. Or? She looks six, but she's a thousand years old. Oh, a thousand. Yeah. Okay. So she's not actually she's like cool. six years old. So having sex with her isn't a crime. And the fact that she looks like a six year old is actually okay, because you know you just gotta redefine you know what what is okay. I would say better because it it's like a um, well never mind never mind. Yeah, maybe maybe don't go where you were about to go there. We are a friendly, we're a child friendly show. Wiggity wiggity, woohoo! That's what that's what this show is about. Can I try? Can I do one of those? Yes, please. Yeah, absolutely. Schmiggity schmiggity. I'm black. sorry, I'm gonna have to hang up on you. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for calling in. Okay. Uh, we cannot uh, lose any more black viewers. I mean, urban viewers. <laughs> and that was uh, I don't think we got his name, but uh, that was a male right. That was Mr. Gaming from uh. From uh, Minnesota, I believe. Uh, so that was a very interesting conversation. I, I think he, Mr. Gaming brought up a lot of good points. Definitely. definitely. He really did. Um, some good points involved. Uh, the gaming, in the, the problems with, even though like, there's mis there is mis the serious misandry in the gaming community. Um, I don't know if you know this. Uh, I exclusively play online as a woman. Because mm -hmm. I realized you get a lot more free stuff as a woman. No, no one ever trades me free stuff as a man. No one's like, hey... Have some free rune armor as a man. No one's ever like, hey, let me uh, give you some free GP. Let me give you some go. Let me uh, give your arm. Let me give you some uh, a starter kit. No one ever says that when I'm a man. But when I'm a woman, it's all, oh, I'll give you my dragon armor. Ooh, I'll give you ten thousand GP. Ooh, ooh, wow, your thieving is so high. You know, mm -hmm. it's exact. That's exact, and that's exactly how it is in real life. I am a woke engineer. I'm an engineer. I'm a st I study engineering. And you know, all these women, they get all these great internships. And you know why? What's that? Because they have vaginas. Mm, that's sexism. It. That's it. Literally, I, I applied the other day. Um, I applied the other day for this uh, internship at Facebook. You might have heard of them. Small company called Facebook. And uh, I applied for this company. And in, the, in this internship, 
and you know I get rejected. And my friend, who, who hey, may I add, uh, is is not very smart at all because she's a woman, applies, and gets it. And you know I think that's messed up, because I look okay. I, I yes, I have a 2.0 GPA, but that's actually not bad when you consider engineering, when you consider how hard my classes are. You know, my classes are really hard. So, so that's unfair. And you know, I, I think it's messed up. I, I, I really, I really do. I don't think it's fair how, and, and like I know I joke around a lot on this show, but there's something I'm very passionate about. It's men's rights. Men's rights. Men's rights. Men's rights. Men. What about men? What about what about men? Men. I love men. Men. Can I? All right. I'm gonna open my heart a little bit. So a little bit here. Yeah. I love men so much. I want to be with men just all day. I lo I love the the masculine energy that that we just like feeds off. <laughs> Of yeah, each other, you, you know? know what? Yeah, that's all. Uh, have you ever been to the gym before? Oh yeah, that's a male space. Oh, I, I hate love, it when a yeah. woman is there. But fuck that. Yeah. But but like, I'll be in the locker room sometime, and I'll see all these men. Very, oh, I love it. Very strong. Sometimes they don't wear a towel. You can see their entire body, mm -hmm. and they're very they're very muscular, um, sweaty. It's just it's really a great sight. I, f I find the um the idea of circumcision very interesting. I like to see who is circumcised and who is not at the gym. You know. But if I see someone that's not circumcised, I'm like, oh, maybe this person is a, a Mediterranean man. Maybe this person is like from like the, the Mediter like Italy. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Actually, I completely understand what yeah. you're saying. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. I love every second of it. And I never wanted to change. I never wanted to change either. Actually, that's exactly how I feel. I feel exactly the same way. I love men. I want to, I, you know, the other day I, ha I had this pillow, a very long pillow. It had a picture of this beautiful woman on it um, from this uh, from this anime, Neo Yokio. It was a beautiful, very beautiful woman. I, t I threw that out the other day and I replaced it with a man. Good. That's what we need more of in this country. I d I, it's, a, it's a large picture of my father. And, you know, it's like, I, I miss him ever since, you know, the incident. Mm, yeah. Um, I found out that my Republic... This is actually a really sad story. I was we were at Thanksgiving and my father, um, he's he's been a diabetic his entire life. He 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 has heart problems, um, and so he he was eating some mashed potatoes and he was says he said, Donald Trump, more like Donald Trump, and I was and I left. I stood up and I left. I said I couldn't take it anymore. I couldn't take the constant attack on my beliefs as a man, as a white man, and as a political genius. I'm very smart. I, I know I'm very smart. So anyone who's telling me I'm not smart, who's telling me that my opinions are wrong, they're wrong. And not only are they wrong, they're stupid. They're dumb. Are you gonna, 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 gonna work off that? Or is it gonna stay? It is no, <laughs> it is no secret that women are dumb. It's no secret. It's not a mystery. It is the propaganda that is being fed to our youth in the schools that people have forgotten. Yes. 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 How we have we let this happen? How? How did that... That's messed up. Completely. Completely messed up. That's... That's you know what I'm I'm sick and tired of this. The revolution is coming. May M March twenty seventh. The men are gonna be have enough of it. We're gonna rise up. We're gonna take the streets, and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be really mean to a lot of women. Because I've been you know what I I've been a nice guy. You know but the thing is every nice guy has his limits. Every mm. nice guy has limits. You know you're pushing me to the limits, baby. You are. You're really pushing me. You know I'm a I'm a cool nice guy, but every man has a dark side. And you're going to see my dark side real soon if someone doesn't start giving me blowjob, if someone doesn't give me sex. Because I, I am really nice to women, and I never, ever get have sex with them. You know? And they'll always choose these other guys over me. Because all these hot women, they're so shallow, they only want to have sex with attractive men. You know? Mm. Like, all I want is a hot woman to be attracted to me 
Not because of, I, I know I might not be the most attractive, but I, I don't want these. All these hot women are so shallow. I want them to see me for me. You know, I want them to see my beautiful, nice. I'm always so nice to them. I hold the door. I hold the door for them. I do. But I'm still a virgin. I'm 35 years old and I'm still a virgin. It's these feminists, man. Elliot Rogers, dude. They've stolen. They've stolen it from us. They've stolen everything we love. I don't know what to do. <laughs> It's no, don't. It's a, dude, you know what? You know what? Usually, you know, men will tell you not to cry, but I'm gonna tell you, you can cry in the studio. Oh my god, thank you so much. Because dude. you know, men don't get to be sensitive. They thank don't. Thank you so much. So you can, you're, you're, you're allowed to cry here. <laughs> you're allowed to cry. This is okay. I'm allowing this to happen. I think I might start crying myself. <laughs> this is good. This is good. All right, that okay. oh my god, that helped so much. You have no idea. You know, I that's, feel rejuvenated. That's what's messed up about this reality. That's what's. Uh, it really is. It's it's not. It's really messed up. <sighs> How are we gonna take this back, man? How are we gonna take this country back? I just don't know. I just don't know. Who yeah. is to blame? Now, here are my theories on who is to blame. Number one, all women. Yeah, that's, that's that sounds right. Actually, you know what? It's my only theory. All women. I only theory I need. You know, I would trust women a lot more if they had sex with me. Dude, that's what I've been saying for years. Honestly, yeah, I don't. I don't like women. I don't trust women. And you know what? Fuck women. I'm done with women forever now. I'm never gonna talk about women again. I only need men. I only need them. That's all I need. All right, so that's that's around the conclusion for the show. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, do you, uh, John? Do you have anything you want to make sure another segment you want to do real quick? Um, men, just men, man. I'll actually we have this new segment. Uh, it's called. Ah! Oh yeah, we're gonna do a, a primal scream to remind ourselves of our yeah. true masculinity. One, two, three. Ah! Oh my god, the room's on fire! This is not ah, I'm a man! Ah, this a fire powerful. everywhere! This fire! <laughs> ah. Oh god! Uh. Oh god! Somebody call 911! Somebody call 911! Ah. This is not a joke! Ah. 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 That was great. That was that felt great. Uh it's great. Everyone at home, I hope you were partaking in that. I, I hope uh, you get the guys tuning in. Um let's see how many listeners we have right now. Let's see how many. Uh, like we have a couple, like fifty, like four thousand, four thousand. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. Four thousand. Yeah, we have a lot of this. Very right good. Now. Thank you guys for tuning in, even through the scream. Um, through the best of times and the worst of times, you know, we can count on having you guys here in the studio, uh, listening in, tuning in, you know, recording um, our good moments, and you know, I, 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 I like you guys. I trust you guys. You know, you guys are sweet and they're cute. Mm. And I think, you know, maybe we should go out sometime on a date uh, to my female listener who I know you're, I know you, I know uh, statistically speaking, one of you guys, ha one of you has to be a woman and I'm hoping you're attractive. If you're not attractive, ignore this message. But if you are attractive, just give me, give me a call sometime. Uh, 215-898-3500. Just anytime you want. Um, I, I miss you. I've, I've never met you, but I miss you. And I would do sweet things for you. I would take you out to lunch. I would pay. I'd be a gentleman. If there was a coat, if there was a puddle on the water, puddle on the ground, I'd put my coat on it, and you could walk over to the coat, and you wouldn't get your feet wet. And every time we'd be walking on the street, I'd walk on the outside, so the cars, if they splashed you, they wouldn't splash. They would splash me and not you. Mm. And during sex, I would be gentle, and I watched a lot of videos on how to give good oral, and I I think I'd be pretty good at it. Mm. So um, just yeah, take that into consideration to all female listeners. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, yeah, and so we're gonna we're gonna play uh, we're gonna play a song. Um, this song is actually produced by a, a, this. This song is actually this song is not like a, it has a, it has a message. He, he maps about important things. Um, it's it's a it's, this is a rapper Lele. Uh, you may know him from the Club Penguin song, um, but he actually wrote a very good song about. Um, being a man, really. I guess I guess it's about being a man. It's, a, it's he's a guy. 
he this guy he he's been this is for our urban audience this is a little hip hop he's been a little hip hop hip hop this is real hip hop it's, guys. It's not, this isn't that mainstream crap all right this is real hip hop you know I don't even have to describe this song it's called struggling bring it back to the roots it's called Strugglin'. wheel up put it up let's go let's go let's put up let's put on this song this is for the underground. Underground. I tell stories with my music. This is some real shit. so much for tuning in uh that was the mcbpz radio hour on wqhs radio um we're gonna be leaving you uh with some uh songs from this playlist i found on spotify called nightcore um and uh, next up is uh another show i think so uh say so thank you guys so much for tuning in this is um jar of hearts by christina perry Our step towards you because all wait this is this is not nightcore i don't that it's it is under nightcore. Uh, this is not a nightcore song. Um, here it is. Here it is. Here's the nightcore. All right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. You're ready for the hey John, do you want to say goodbye too? Bye guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> this beat is underneath your feet right now.